Welcome back to the free series on working with addictive drums from Recording School Online. Now we're going to look at actually some of the very nice features built in and working with the beats that come with addictive drums. And these are the MIDI files that were done uh, by addictive drums themselves. Now one thing that's important to note is that not all MIDI files are created equal. And uh, the ones that come with addictive drums are quite good. They're very tastefully done, and they have a live feel to them. I like them quite a bit. And it's actually set up quite nice, uh, again, for ease of use. So right here we have our listing of those MIDI files, and we can easily listen to them by simply going over here and clicking on this arrow. Switch through them. Pretty cool. Now, you can also change these with the beat transformer by clicking here on the speed, and you can double it, half it, or change it in any of these ratios. Now, one of the coolest things about this that I personally really like is because I don't like having to edit so much with the drums. It's just too cerebral. It slows things down. I like to stay intuitive when working with the, any drum module. Uh, and this has got some features which enable that. Once again, let's say we're going to set up a song. We go through. Let's find something we like. Let's say I like that. I want to put that in. Let's just click on the very click on the variations here. We have a number of variations. Some ghost notes. Clean. The ride. Ride with ghost notes. Sixteenth ride. Okay. And let's say we find one we like. We can left click it and just drag it into this folder. Let's say we want to use that for the verse. Okay, we got it stored. And let's say we want to actually have a ride on our chorus. Go down to ride. Very nice. Drag and drop it. And what we're essentially doing is setting the drums we like aside so we can assemble them in our recorder. Now, let's pick one more. Let's find some fills. Or actually a stick, you see. Cool, I like that. Bring it over. That's simple. Let's hear them together. Also use this here to scroll. And that's actually scrolling from the left side if we want to continue to go through and reference drums. Now once we do have our drums together, we can easily just left click on that and drag that into our recording program and drop it in to sequence it. That's simple. Now, here's one of the cool things. Don't you just hate lining up MIDI files. I do. I don't like doing it. Uh, simply because they don't always line up so even for one thing, and it takes a little more time than should be necessary. One of the great features here is instead, let's say you're going to have eight measures of this particular beat. We can go down here to length, and you can actually, here we go, bars. We can select eight bars, and once we drag and drop these beats, they're automatically already going to be eight bars. So that saves us a lot of time instead of having to set them all up and line them up. You can control that here all the way from one bar to 16 or use the original length. That's simple. You can also change the speed as we already mentioned. Let me demonstrate that though. Cool. 
Now you're beginning to get the sense of how quick and intuitive this program is. Go to the next video and we'll take it even further.